Welcome back. We are now at day four of the 10 day chess challenge and uh, we're going to start with uh, some calculation exercises again. In this position it's black's turn to move. Use your calculation skill and see if you can find a tactic here for black. You can pause the video to think about it. Okay, so the first thing that we of course always do is we try to find our opponent's threats. And it would seem that white doesn't have any serious threats in this position against us. So we have liberty to start looking for a tactic ourselves. So the next step is to find targets. Okay, so the first and very obvious target in this position must be the c2 pawn. And of course the king that's right behind it. And like I always say, an undefended piece, the queen in this case is undefended, should always be seen as a possible target because you can make a threat against it. Okay, so now we go on to the third step in the calculation process, which is calculating all the check moves. And uh, if you try to calculate this check, you would have seen that it doesn't lead to much. You're just losing material because the knight can capture you and you don't achieve much. Okay, any other check moves also doesn't work. Queen takes check for doesn't work for the same reasons and there aren't any other checks. Any other captures? There aren't any other captures. We, we already looked at this move, which is a check and also a capture. So when you've looked at all the checks and all the captures, then you have to look at all the moves that threaten something. Okay, for example, this would be a threat against the white queen. But even more powerful, we have this threat which threatens two of those targets at the same time and this is actually the solution move because there's no good way for white to deal with the threat against the queen and also deal with the threat of uh, the added pressure on c2 now. Let's say just for example white tries to save the queen maybe moves the queen to a5 and now we have check. If the knight takes we have checkmate or uh, if the king moves away, we're also going to have checkmate. Check. King is forced. King can't come back because of this rook. Checkmate. Okay, so that was our first example. Let's move on to the second one for today. Okay, so here's the second example. In this position, it's a white stone to move. Use your five-step calculation process and see if you can find a tactic here for white. Okay, so the first step, of course, is always to find the threats against us and in this position we can see that black is threatening to capture our queen. I'd say that's a pretty serious threat. So you have to keep that in mind. Except for that there doesn't seem to be any other threats but this one is bad enough. We have to consider that if we don't do something about this black is going to capture our queen. So whatever you calculate you have to keep this threat in mind. Right so the next step of course is to uh, find all the targets the black queen is a target because uh, there's already pressure between the two queens. We're already attacking the knight, so it's a possible target. And we're already attacking the bishop, so it's also a possible target. And since the king is on the same diagonal as this bishop, we can add the king also as a possible target here. Yeah. Okay, now if we start looking for motives, there's a very interesting motive in this position. And uh, I'm not sure what the name of the motive is. It's, it's maybe a combination of some sort of motives. The, f the idea is I want to show you this move. Bishop takes the knight. It does two things at the same time. First of all, it removes the defender of the black queen. So now we're threatening to capture the black queen. Secondly, it captures a piece. And thirdly, it protects our queen. So if black takes our queen now, then we recapture the black queen and at the same time we move our bishop away from the threat and we win a piece in the process. So as I've said, I've not, I'm not exactly sure how to name this motive but it's a very powerful idea and uh, you should study it carefully. So the solution move here is the capture bishop takes knight. He can't capture our bishop else we're going to capture his queen. And if black tries the very nice idea Queen to g5 check, of course we mustn't just move the king out of check now, else, else uh, he's going to capture our bishop. So we have to play this move, which blocks the check, and it still keeps up the threat against black's queen. And if black captures us, we can capture back with the bishop. Okay, so 
I think this is a very interesting motif, and it will be a good idea for you to study this uh, tactical idea. All right, so let's move on to the third puzzle. Okay, so here's our third and last example of the tactical exercises before we move on to the evaluation exercises. And in this position, it's White's turn to move. Can you find a tactic here for White? Pause the video to think about it. Okay, so first step always, we try to find our opponent's threats. And uh, it doesn't seem that Black has any serious threats against us that we have to be worried about. So we can move on to the next step, which is identifying all the possible targets. Now, clearly the king must be a target in this position because we can attack it. And uh, this rook, maybe we can identify it as a target, although it is pretty well defended. It's defended by the king, it's defended by the rook, it's indirectly defended by the bishop over here. So for that reason, I'm not going to really identify it as a target. The queen, I like to always identify the queen as a possible target, especially if there's a knight nearby, because then uh, there might also always be some kind of uh, fork tricks where you can fork the king and queen with the knight if you can set up the right position. Okay, but that's the, the only two targets that I could really identify here. So if we look at motives, well, I'd say that the important thing to to realize here is that black king is under attack and we want to exploit that as much as possible. So let's start uh, calculating our different moves. First of all, we look at all the check moves. This check move doesn't make any sense because we just lose the rook. This knight check doesn't make much sense because we just uh, lose the knight. Black is going to play just rook takes knight. This knight check makes a lot of sense and we should look into it deeper. The reason why I say it makes a lot of sense is it not only checks the king, it also covers the f8 square, which makes it impossible for black to try to run away now. Okay, and actually black is forced to come to f6 because if he comes to g6, then queen g5 is checkmate. And if he comes to f6 then the only reason why we can't play queen g5 now is because the black rook on g8 is is covering that square so now we can play rook takes h8 and this rook we win a rook in the process because if black captures us back then this move is checkmate all right so i think that was a nice little tactic let's go on to the evaluation exercises now i'll see you there